Elliott home taken over by squatters now has new owners. It follows a new Channel 5 investigation in which one of the squatters charged our news crew with an axe. This is one story investigative reporter Ben Hall won't forget. So it's been about two and a half years now. Cindy Thomas has wanted new neighbors for more than two years. I'm happy because a young couple has bought the house. She lived across the street from the Mount Juliet home at the center of a News Channel 5 investigation. No rent, no mortgage. Well, no problem. For that weeks, we the watched the house documenting how Jude Piskey moved into the luxury log cabin despite having no legal claim to the property. A bank foreclosed on the home and it got lost in the shuffle, essentially forgotten about allowing it to sit empty for years until Pisky moved in. We want to talk to you about why you're in this house. I want to talk to you about getting out of here. How's that? Does that work with you? Get that out of my god face, dude. When we approached Pisky last spring, he was not interested in talking about how he took over the home. The bank says you have no right to be here. Incredibly, he walked to his truck and got an ax. Let me see here. How would you, what would you like to do with? Out of here. All right, all right, all right, all right, go, all right. God. We're backing up. We're no, backing leave, up. God. We're leaving right now. Don't, don't hit. And I saw it on TV just like everybody else in the area saw it on TV, and I, I was shocked. Thomas had concerns about her neighbor. Others had complained about the junk on the property, including a limousine parked in the front yard. But Thomas couldn't believe how he responded. It just surprised me. I mean, I never would have dreamt somebody would have done that, knowing that you had a camera. Pisky was arrested for violating his probation. A condition of his release was that he get out of the house. When he did, a couple quickly bought it. They're from here, so they've known about the house. They've known about all the rumors and stuff. So I'm just pleased that they're nice. You know, I've met them. I've been over there twice. Thomas says the inside of the house was in surprisingly good shape when she walked through. The outside looked worse than the inside did. It was fine, you know, just cleaning and just overall uh, improving it. This is probably one of the most bizarre things I've ever dealt with. City Commissioner Ray the Justice bank told bank us how frustrated bank. he and neighbors had become about the property and the fact that banks didn't seem to care. Now, neighbors are just glad the house has legitimate owners. All I can do is applaud Channel 5 News. Thank you for, you know, for actually going an extra mile and help, helping us get this taken care of. There are no squatter's rights in Tennessee. It is possible if someone maintains a property for 20 years or more, they could claim ownership. But that rarely happens with homes. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.